What's up, Elon holders? Welcome back. Welcome back. Today, we're going to be doing another update on the Dog Elon Mars token, and we know that as none other than ticker symbol Elon. I gotta let you know I'm not a financial advisor, never WhatsApp anybody in my comments, but do remember to drop a big like on this video. It's gonna help get exposure on the Dog Elon Mars project, the Dog Elon Mars mission, and most importantly, the Dog Elon Mars community. Also, do consider subscribing as it is gonna keep you up to date on cryptocurrency news and all things Dog Elon Mars, and you could even win yourself some nfts right on this channel i do give away nfts every single week to my lucky subscribers all they have to do is drop a comment below be subscribed as simple as that they're gonna win one of these nfts and every single holder of these nfts that mints out or is holding an nft will receive an airdrop of the dgen ape live v2 token that will be pre-sailing this month so a lot of updates a lot of things going on right now you can use the link in the description down below to mint one if you do like Let's get into the day. We are currently ranked 125 right now. Things are looking pretty good, pretty pretty good across the whole market. 603516 is our current price tag down 2.26% on the day. Market cap sitting at a healthy $194 million right now. Current volume sitting pretty low. Three, uh, 3 million traded over the last 24 hours down 25.2% percent not horrible not horrible a lot of volume coming out of centralized exchanges uh low volume coming out of the decentralized exchanges but uh still pretty high 300k basically out of decentralized exchanges in the last 24 hours uh not bad not bad if we do look at how much uh one billion dollar on mars is going to cost you it does look like it's going to cost you about 352 dollars and 31 cents us uh as of today looking at the chart we have traded rather sideways i do believe we are still up on the week yep up on the week looking good we are even up on the month wow uh up on the three month absolutely beautiful to see uh things are actually looking pretty good for the project i'm gonna have to say that uh looking at market confidence we actually do have extremely high consumer confidence across the board i mean wow look at it there's this only two moderates in here now i mean there has been a few of them in there and it's actually looking better the score is increasing on the daily kucoin being our number one source of volume three hundred and two thousand dollars traded out of kucoin in the last 24 hours and a uniswap gemini and uh crypto.com we do know are our bigger as centralized exchanges as well if we do look at holder count though this is where we get in here 100 145,191 holders. We did have a little bit of a cool off. Nothing major though. I mean, we're still sitting really healthy with 145K holders. Very, I mean, just a month ago, we were at sitting at 141,000. So this is actually pretty, pretty nice growth. 31% uh, of people in the money, 4% neutral, 65% out, 85 or 84% concentration by large holders. And here, that is what we have from Coin Market Cap. So, if we do hop on over to Investor Observer, we are actually met with a pretty nice score as well. 64 in the short term, moderately bullish back once again in that top half of cryptocurrencies evaluated. Scores are percentile ranks, so a score of 64 does put Dog on Mars above 64 percent of cryptocurrencies not bad not bad 92 percent of cryptocurrencies in the long term risk gauge sitting green looking very healthy volatility sitting neutral but sentiment is sitting bullish very bullish this is awesome to see um it does mean that the uh, proprietary sentiment analysis studies the cryptocurrencies price action and volume trends over the last five days to see if investors are getting more enthusiastic about a cryptocurrency as it rises in this case investors are more positive than negative but there are other cryptocurrencies with more momentum we'll take it things are looking good right now things are looking really good and it's actually coming from uh the fed rate hike that is looming today so u.s stocks posted modest gains as wednesday opens as investors face federal reserve's seventh and final interest rate hike for 2022 so this is massive we get a half a percentage rate hike as expected uh, we could potentially see some more positive momentum in the market going forward today uh we did get some price predictions from coin codex they are once again bullish again so very nice it's, it does my heart good to see these guys bullish uh does expect they do see a cap at six zero five three eight nine in the next one month absolutely insane 
absolutely insane. Three months, they're not expecting a whole lot. Six months, one year, they are expecting things to get moving. Uh, with Kappa 5 zeros, 6376, I'd put $1 billion on Mars at about 6,376 USD. Looking at the Binance wallets, despite all the Binance FUD, all of this, the Elon on here does not move. It does not move. So it's very, very nice to see that whether this is individual holders or this is Binance themselves holding, they're not getting rid of their position on Dogalon Mars on Binance. We do know it's on Pancake Swap. We do know that it's being held in the open spot wallets on Binance. And it is very close to listing, in my opinion. Now, lastly, we did get a pretty epic piece of news in the crypto market. I feel it. I definitely don't want to leave this out. U.S. Senator Warren Marshall introduced digital asset anti-money laundering bill. The proposal will bring know your customer rules to crypto participants such as wallet providers and miners. Uh, wow. So it does look like U.S. Senator Warren, De Democrat out of Massachusetts, and Roger Marshall, Republican out of Kansas, are introducing a bill to crack down on money laundering and financing of terrorists and rogue nations via cryptocurrency. It is becomes if it becomes law the digital asset money laundering act will bring know your customer kyc rules to crypto participants such as wallet providers and miners and prohibit financial institutions from transacting with digital asset mixers which are tools designed to obscure the origin of funds the act would also follow the financial crime enforcement network fincen to implement a proposed rule requiring institutions to report certain transactions involving un hosted wallets wallets where the user has complete control over the contents rather than relying on an exchange or other third party concerns over the user of concerns over the use of crypto to facilitate money laundering and terrorist financing are frequently aired by lawmakers or regulators and are often used to highlight the need for more robust regulation of the digital asset industry this is huge. This is absolutely huge. It is what is expected with the FTX collapse, with the Binance FUD and insolvency FUDs that is going on around. around. It is definitely going to be the next step. I do see lawmakers uh, pushing the regulation a little bit harder and faster. And it does look like that is what is happening. But as we do get the regulation, there is a silver lining. Hopefully it doesn't get over regulated. But we do we, we will see the bad actors cut out of the space and an overall more healthy crypto market, in my opinion, with the regulation. I'm not for regulation. I'm not 100 percent for regulation. I am for institutional money and sovereign wealth being able to come into the space comfortably and for everybody else as well as individual retail investors to have a safe place to trade. That is something I am a proponent for. I would like to see that in the crypto market. I'd like to see that for each and every one of you guys so that we could make actual gains out in the market and expand as a technological revolutionary field that we actually are. I do see so much massive potential in the field that we have yet to uncrack. So that's what I got for you guys today. I thank each and every one of you guys for watching and I will catch you in the next one.